Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to visualize the importance of chemistry in daily life. We'll explain the term chemotherapy. We'll try to describe the basis for the classification of drugs. We'll explain the concept of drug target and the interaction of drugs with enzymes and receptors. We'll explain how various types of drugs work in the body and we'll know about the artificial sweetening agents and also food preservatives. And we'll also discuss the chemistry of cleansing agents that is soaps and detergents. Let's start our chapter. If you see the chemistry is everywhere in our daily life. The first thing we do once we get up from the morning, or once we get up in the morning is we need tea, coffee or milk, generally we take that, right? So if you see the tea, coffee, milk has sugar in that. So all these are nothing but the chemical compounds. Once we are done with tea, coffee or milk, we generally use toothbrush to clean our teeth. Toothbrush is nothing but a chemical compound, it's a type of soap. We take bath, we use soap or sham. This soap or shampoo is again a chemical compound, right? Their chemistry is involved. Once we are done with that, we wear clothes. These clothes are nothing but if you see cotton, that is a chemical compound. If you talk about any other synthetic material, that is also nothing but a chemical compound. So chemistry is playing a role here too. Right? We eat food. So when we eat food, the basic common salt we see is NaCl, sodium chloride, that's a chemical compound. So baking soda, a lot of things we use, they are nothing but chemical compounds. In fact, the fruits, vegetables that are used to prepare fruits are also chemical compounds. We have studied that in the past chapter, carbohydrates. They have vitamins also, right? And we sometimes drink juices. These juices has a lot of preservatives. The, the canned juices, they are also nothing but chemical compounds, right? When, then we go to work or school, we either drive to work or if you are a student, we uh, generally go to school by school bus or sometimes our parents drop us. So the petrol that is used is nothing but, or the petrol or diesel, whatever is used to run your vehicle is nothing but a chemical compound. Right? When we go to school, we write a notebook. Notebook is nothing but a chemical compound, it's made of cellulose. Or we, are, we work in front of computer, that is nothing but, if you see the computer, the plastics and all are nothing but my chemical compound. The whole, to make a computer, you need a good knowledge of chemistry that is required. Correct? We use this plastic bottles to drink water and that is nothing but my chemical compound. Correct? We drink, we eat all these fruits, vegetables, they are also a chemical compound. When we fall ill, we take medicines and these medicines are nothing but my chemical compound. The rockets, they need chemical compound, their own gasoline to run, the airplanes, they all need chemical compound. The detergent that are used to wash all the clothes which we wear are nothing but chemical compounds. So if you see, chemical compound has huge importance in our day-to-day -day life. Starting from the first cup of coffee or tea we take, the toothbrush, the food we eat, the notebook on which we write, everything has a chemical compound. Right? So chemistry has a huge importance in our day-to-day -day life. So with this, Let's, let's focus on the three important areas of chemistry. There are so many areas, but we'll focus only on three important areas of the chemistry. The first is the medicine that is required when you fall ill. The other is the food material. And the third is the cleansing agents. We'll discuss soaps and detergent in this. So we'll focus only on these three important areas of the chemistry in this chapter. We'll not focus on the petrols. We'll not focus on the textiles. We'll not focus on the papers. Fruits will not focus on those parts, we will focus only on these three important areas where chemistry is playing a vital role in our life. Thank you.
Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.